Hey guys, what's up? And today I'm going to be showing you 10 different JA Perm algorithms. So this is going to be a video on 10 different algorithms for the JA permutation. Now all of these solve this case and they all do it in a unique way. So let's get started with the video. Now the reason I'm making this video on this specific PLL and not any others is because I noticed that there's a lot of algorithms for the JA perm and there's not very many for any of the other ones. There's only really two or three good algorithms for the other ones, but for this one there's probably like 15 or 20 good algorithms. So today I'm just going to be going over all of them in this video. So the way you recognize this algorithm is first you will notice that you have a block of three pieces. Now, not very many other algorithms have three pieces connected, but this one does. And then if you turn it over, then you'll see this one has two pieces, and this one is not matched up. So then if you turn it some more, then you'll have another block of two pieces, and then another one. So basically, how I always recognize it is just this block here, and then this is the only one that's unsolved on this side. So like that. Okay, so let's get into the first algorithm. Okay, so this first one starts with this block in the front, and then you do this algorithm. You do R prime, U, L prime, U2, R, U prime, R prime, U2, R, L. Okay, so here's that algorithm quickly. Okay, so this algorithm and this next one are going to be easier for left-handed people to use because it uses the left face a lot. So this one, you hold this block on the right, and then you do this algorithm. It's basically a lefty JB perm. So you do L prime, U prime, L, F, L prime, U prime, L, U, L, F prime, L2, U prime, L. And here's that one a little bit quicker. Okay, so this next one, you also hold this block right here, and then you do this algorithm. You do L prime, E2, L, U, L prime, E2, R, U prime, L, U, R prime. Okay, so I'm not very good at this one, but here is how I do it quickly. Okay, so this next algorithm is actually pretty weird, and I actually used to use it. So this one actually has a rotation in it, and here it is. So you hold the bar on the left, and then you do this algorithm. You do R prime, U2, R, U, R prime, Z, R2, U, R prime, D, R, U prime. So here's that one quickly. Okay, so this next one is very similar to the last one. So this is actually almost, this is actually the exact same algorithm, but only you don't do the rotation and you do the moves without it. So this is how it goes. You hold the block on the left again and you do R prime, U2, R, U, R prime, U2, L, U prime, R, U, L prime. And here's that one a little bit quicker. Okay, so this next one is kind of a weird algorithm. Uh, another weird one. So you hold the block in the back. Um, I, I just learned this one today. So you hold the block in the back, and then you do this algorithm. So you do L prime, U, R prime, Z, R2, U, R prime, U prime, R2, U D U D. So that one's a little bit weird, but I'm gonna show you how I do it quickly. Okay, so this next algorithm is actually the one that I use currently. I don't know if I'm gonna switch to any of the other ones, but this is just the one that I use right now. So I hold it like this with the bar on the left again, and then you do X R2 F R, F prime, R, U2, white R prime, U, white R, U2, X prime. So here's that one a little bit quicker. Okay, so this next algorithm is super similar to the last one. It's just the inverse of it. 
So you do this. You do x, u2, white r prime, u, white r, u2, r prime, f, r prime, f prime, r2. So the last couple parts of it are kind of weird. I kind of like re-grip like this when I do that. Like that. It's almost like a rotation. But it's just a little bit weird. Okay, so here it is a little bit quicker. Okay, these next two are ones that I figured out just yesterday. So this first one is a little bit better, but the second one is slightly different. But I think that the finger tricks are not as good. It can still be done very quickly, but I don't think it's as good. So this first one, you just hold the bar in the front, and then you do this. So this algorithm is regripless, and you do white r, d, white r prime, u2, white r, d prime, white r prime, u, white r, d, white r prime, u, white r, d prime, white r prime. So the algorithm might seem really long and confusing, but I'm actually going to break it down for you. You're just really messing with this back pair. The first thing that you do is you do a weird thing to take it out. So you do white R D, white R prime U2, and that takes it out. And then you restore the cross like that. You take that out. And then you do a U, and then you put it back in with another weird insertion. So like that. That's just basically what you do. Another trick that you really need for it is a uh, push D prime. Just like you need the E perm, so you do that. And then you do a push D prime. You also kind of move that back. And then you do it again. So here's that algorithm a little bit quicker. Okay, so this next one is just a little bit different than the last one. So this one you just hold the bar on the left, and then you do this algorithm. So you do white r, d, white r prime, u2, white r, d prime, white r prime, u prime, white r, d, white r prime, u prime, white r, d prime, white r prime. So again, this one might seem really long and weird, but I'm going to break it down again. It's, exa it's almost exactly the same as the last one. So the first half is the same, you just take out this pair, and then instead of doing a U, you do a U prime, and then you put that in, instead of doing a U and then putting it back in. So here's that one a little bit quicker. So that's pretty much it for this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good time cubing. Bye.